yo yo what's going on what's going on guys it is friday night and i am in the crib i am chilling um and i don't know how many of you guys are home on a friday night you know what i'm saying i don't expect you guys to be with this beautiful beautiful weather um but i was just in the crib and i was just thinking to myself you know what man it's been a minute since i've been live this has been a minute since i hung out with you guys and I wanted to provide some value, the most value that I could. So I said, let me come up with a good topic for tonight. You know what I mean? And just talk to you guys, man. And that's going to be the secret to your boxing success. And, you know, this is something that I have a lot of experience with, you know, from being a successful boxing coach to being unsuccessful uh, at doing at boxing to a degree in my own life you know what i mean i know why i didn't make it as far as i wanted to go and i also know why i've done more as a trainer you know what i'm saying it's simple principles that i brought to the table that you know what i mean are the same principles that all the people who make it to a certain level in any field you know simply utilize so there's just a lot to it man you know what i mean and i wanted to go ahead and maybe give you guys some insight on my opinion on what I believe would be the secret to your boxing success. I've been fortunate. I mean, I got a bunch of pictures back here, people that I've worked with who've been extremely successful in boxing, uh, everything from the amateurs to the professionals to world champions and world title contenders and future world champions, like my most recent guy, Raymond Savage Ford, who's going to win a world title most likely at some point this year. Um, so, there's just a lot of different things, man, that you need to take into account when you're trying to be successful at anything. And at this stage of my life, um, I've learned a thing or two about helping people become successful at boxing. And for those of you guys who don't know, obviously you guys already know about my YouTube channel where I go ahead and I teach uh, boxing and I give all types of free tips and all types of information on YouTube, but also I have my courses that I've been pushing for the last few years, right? I think I was one of the first people who was uh, selling courses on boxing online way before the pandemic. When the pandemic hit, courses became a big thing. A lot of people started pushing out boxing content. But I think I'm one of the first people, one of the originators to this, and still here, right? You know what I mean? A lot of times, a, guy, a lot of guys are fly by night. A lot of fly by night uh, internet coaches out here, guys who are hot for a little bit. Next thing you know, you're like, what happened to that guy, right? So um, I pride myself on still being here and still being relevant in professional boxing with good fighters, you know what I mean? And I put, the, I put a lot of energy into those courses, and I would love for you guys to take advantage of that. So that's something for everybody who doesn't have the courses. Of course, for being here for the live stream i got the ca power hour now the ca power hour is giving you 50 percent off on top of my 50 percent off sale on all my individual courses so anything that you see online right now that's 50 percent off you use that discount code ca power hour and you would get an additional 50 percent off i also have three tiers gold silver and bronze that i've done for the master boxing bundle and basically what that includes is private community uh, which has been growing like crazy for the record. And also um, coaching calls with me personally, where you can personally talk to me and I can personally help you out. But before I get started with all that stuff, man, I want to go ahead and uh, say what's up to the people who made it. My man, Honda Pilot, what's going on, champ? My man, Mark, what's up, Coach? And happy Friday. Stay blessed from the Bay Area. Big shout out to you, my man. My man, everybody hates JJ. What up, y'all? What's going on, champ? What up, community? Yes, sir. Uh, we got some Q and Q. Oh, yeah, we're going to do some Q&A. So you guys want to stick around uh, because we are going to do some Q&A. You know what I'm saying? Davy Jones, coach, thanks for your content. They have high value. Thank you very much. Eddie, hey, coach, I've been watching you for a while. Had my first amateur fight a few weeks ago. I had got my hand raised. Thank you. For the contribution to the win now that's really cool man really cool to hear that people who watch my channel have learned something from me and have actually went forward to win fights so thank you very much for coming in here and dropping that message uh that means a lot and uh good luck to you champ um 
Whoa, thank you for the super chat, man. As promised, thanks for being personable, man. Socially sci scientific, socially scientific, man. Thank you very much, man. I appreciate that super chat, man. Um, I always appreciate when you guys come in, drop the donations, ask the questions, engage with what I got going on. And I always appreciate when you guys purchase anything from me, whether that's a course, a coaching call, a master boxing bundle, or even if you guys just come in here for the free information and you guys are just helping me with my numbers and liking it and make sure you guys press like make sure you guys you know what i'm saying help push it through the algorithm everything is appreciated here at coach anthony box and i just want to let everybody know that i sincerely mean that from the bottom of my heart um i'm blessed in many ways in my life and i'm blessed to have you guys as people who come support what i'm doing so i just want to make sure you guys are aware of that i know i've always come on here and i'm trying to get people to get on Zoom calls with me and grab my courses, but I'm really doing it from a good place. I want you guys to learn. I want you guys to be educated. I want you guys to know that I have your back. Of course, I got to make a living. And of course, I'm going to always proudly sell my products. But at the same time, it's coming from a place of really genuinely wanting to help as many people as I could possibly help online, because this is where I can help a lot of people from one location, right? Like I could be right here and give this information to the world. So why wouldn't I take advantage of this great opportunity called the internet? You see what I'm saying? And uh, let me go ahead and get started with what I believe is, um, hold on, but first of all, yeah, let me get this going right here. What I believe is going to be the secrets the secrets to uh, your basic success, the secrecy of boxing success, all right? So the first thing that I'm going to say is that you want to do is you want to get motivated. You want to get motivated, right? So it's great to be motivated. You know, when you're motivated, when, you, when you're just in, you know, and I'm going to add an extra one, you know, find your why right so i you know i actually added this as his own thing but let's go ahead and say find your why okay and then we're gonna move real quick to get motivated right so when i say find your why um why do you want to box what made you want to learn how to box see when i first started boxing years ago the main reason why i started boxing was because i, I like to fight and i used to think i knew how to fight until i walked into a boxing gym and then when I walked into a boxing gym and got my ass beat, all right, I have no shame in saying it, um, I said to myself, I never in my life want to feel this vulnerable again. So I showed up the next day, and I showed up the next day, and I showed up the next day to the point where the trainer, who originally didn't like me because of my cocky attitude, started to like me. And he started to respect me because he was like, damn, this guy keeps coming back even though he really got his ass beat, and I didn't think he would ever come back. And I was humble and I was listening and I was training and then I started competing. So the, my why was the reason I decided to box was uh, I wanted to get good at it. I just really enjoyed since I was a little kid being good with these. And I thought I was good with these. I had the energy, the personality, you know what I'm saying, to, to be good with these. You know what I mean? But I wasn't. And I knew real quick that I had to. Because with my personality, um, which is a very low tolerance for disrespect, and I don't know how many people out there, I know there's a lot of, most of you guys are probably men who watch my channel and some of you who are women know, like, I think at this day and age, nobody likes disrespect. And I, when I was young, and to this day, I still don't like disrespect. It's just as an older person now, I've learned how to handle disrespect in a much more mature way. But when I was young, if you disrespected me, it was like, hold on, what you just say to me? You know what I'm saying? But the problem was, what if I acted off that disrespect and I wasn't even able to act how my emotions had me feeling, right? So in my mind, I was like, I better learn how to box. I better learn how to box. I better learn how to throw these because I'm gonna end up swinging on somebody and they just gonna whoop my ass because I don't know how to fight, but my personality is tough. You see what I'm saying? So my why was I better learn how to defend myself because it's just part of my personality trait. Now, there's many different reasons why people get into boxing. Some people get into boxing because they want to become world champions. Some people get into boxing because, you know, they want to 
become super successful at it so they could take care of their mom, right? Everybody got a different reason, right? You got kids from the ghetto who that's their only way out, right? You know what I'm saying? Like the old saying, it was like you either rap or you play basketball. Well, guess what? You could throw boxing in there because boxing in the inner city is something that a lot of young guys turn to to become successful as they get older. Also, a lot of people get into boxing because it keeps them off the street. You know, boxing's a very dangerous sport, but at the end of the day, boxing has saved more lives than it's taken, okay? There's a lot of people out here that would be dead or in jail if it wasn't for boxing, okay? So boxing and it is one of the greatest things, and of course you could die getting punched in the head, and of course you can, you can also die in a car accident. You can also die walking out your house, tripping over the step, and then falling and hitting your head. Like, there's no guarantees in this life, you know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day... You know, boxing is just another way to help people get better because when you really think about what boxing is, is pushing nutrition, is pushing physical health, okay, is pushing discipline, is pushing all the things that are good. Now, of course, you can get punched in the face, and there's of course there's risk, you know, but this is why you want to learn the right way to box. This is why you want to learn the skills, and that's something that we're gonna talk about a little bit further in this. But this is very, very important. You know what I mean? You've got to find your why and you've got to get motivated. Now, what happens when the motivation goes away? you got to get disciplined, right? So discipline, we just talked about that briefly. One of the main things that you need in boxing is discipline. Discipline that you do the training every day. Discipline that you eat right. Discipline that you sleep right. Discipline that you listen to your coach. Right. I, you might have to be so disciplined that the only thing you work is the jab. Nah, coach, I want to throw a right hand. jab only. <sighs> bop, bop, bop. Right. Discipline comes in many different forms in boxing. Sometimes you got to be disciplined to only focus on what needs to be improved. Sometimes you got to be disciplined uh, with your temper. Right. You might be a guy that as soon as he gets hit, you're ready to swing. Coyote time. Relax. No loading up on your punches. Set up your hard shots like discipline in boxing is everything. You need discipline. It's discipline is the, the, the core of success in life and definitely in boxing. OK, so you have to get discipline. All right. So you're motivated. But now we're disciplined. Discipline is what keeps you going. Discipline is what keeps you growing. Okay. And discipline is what's going to keep you on course when your motivation goes away. When you wake up that one day tired and don't want to show up, when that when your boy comes to your crib or hits you up and says, yo, let's go have some drinks and let's go down to the club, but you've been focused on a particular goal. When your girlfriend comes home with a box of cookies and your goal is to lose a bunch of weight and you got to look at her and say, nah, I'm, I'm on my focus. I'm focused right now. I'm not going to eat that. Right. I mean, this, this is what it takes, man. This is what it takes. And unfortunately, a lot of people don't want to do what it takes to get good at boxing, to get great at boxing, to get to the next level. Everybody wants the nice cars, the belts, the hand raised, but nobody wants to be disciplined. Discipline is the key, guys. This is, I could stop this live right now. I could cut the live off right now, and I've already given you enough just off of that. But of course, that's not what we're, you know, that's not what we're going to do. But yeah. The next thing is get started, right? So you're motivated. Maybe you're disciplined already, but now maybe you don't know where to begin. Well, guess what? You're at the right place. Coach Anthony Boxing. Get started, man. If that means you got to go through my YouTube channel and go all the way back to some of my early videos, just get started, man. Learn something. Pull up how to stand as a boxer. Pull up how to throw a jab how to throw a right hand, get started, start to introduce yourself to the education of boxing. You're not an online type of guy, take your ass to any boxing gym in your area. Don't worry about if he's the best trainer in town or if he's the best trainer in the world or how many, find a boxing gym, find a PAL. You ain't got the money to do it, 
take your ass down to a police athletic league or something in your area. Don't worry about the glitz and the glamour and the big names and how many pro train fighters he trained. Just get started. Get introduced to the sport. Just get introduced to the sport. Learn to jab. Learn to cross. Start to understand. Because as you start to learn, you will get more lessons along the way. There's an old proverb in boxing that says, when the student is ready, the teacher will appear. But you ain't ready till you get started. You got to get started, right? If you've been really on the fence and you don't know where to get started and you got a couple of dollars to spend, go to my website, CoachAnthonyBoxing.com. I already gave you guys the CA Power Hour right now where you get 50% off on top of the 50% off and start with Build You From The Ground Up 1.0. Start with Build You From The Ground Up 1.0. Just learn to jab, the cross, the hook, whatever. Right. Learn the basics. But the end of the day, man, just get started. Stop saying that you want to do this. Stop saying that you're thinking about doing it. Stop saying when I lose 45 pounds, I'm going to get started. You know, I remember when I owned the gym and I would go to the regular fitness gym right next door to my gym because I owned the gym and right next door was a regular gym. And people would say to me when they saw me in there lifting weights, people always felt like they had to come up to me and say stuff like, um, yo, Coach Ant, man, I know I said I'm going to join your gym, man. I haven't joined yet, bro, but I'm just trying to lose 40 pounds. But when I lose 40, I'm in there. I'm going to get in shape. And, and I'm just looking at them like, bro, so you mean to tell me the reason you didn't get started is because you want to get in shape before you get started? The key to this is to get in shape with the boxing. So I take people out of shape all the time. I've helped multiple people come from 300 plus pounds down to 200 plus pounds or under 200 pounds in my life. I've done it many, many times. Okay, so don't use the excuse that you're too heavy or, you know, you don't got the experience and you want to do this before you get started. Get started, man. And let me tell you something. You ain't fooling nobody in no boxing gym, right? I don't give a shit who you are. When you walk into a gym with like a guy like me and you start throwing punches and all of that, I already know what level you at. I already know what level you're at. I already know the moment I see you, I'm dealing with a beginner. I'm dealing with an intermediate level guy or I'm dealing with an advanced guy. I already know. So trying to like get things right before you come through so you could kind of like sort of like fool the people around you to think that you've been doing this for a minute, waste the time. Because at the end of the day, everybody in the gym who's been really doing it is going to know. And we respect beginners because we used to be beginners. When I see a beginner walk through the door humble, yo, I just want to learn, or come into one of my programs or come into my private community, you know what I'm saying, and say, coach, man, I just need your advice on this basic punch. I'm like, this guy gets it. He understands that he needs to learn, okay? And that moves me on to the next point, which is search for the right teacher and get educated. So now you've gotten started. Now you're learning some stuff. But now we want to take it to the next level, right? Now I'm going to contradict myself a little bit, right? In the beginning, I said, don't worry about the trainer. Just get started. That's true. But then there's going to come a point where you need to find a teacher who's going to educate you properly. Right. You've already gotten started. You got your hands moving. You understand. Blah, blah, blah. Great. But now we need to learn the why to the how. OK. And this is where you need to find a teacher who knows what they're talking about. OK. I've been trying to give my access now for many years online for people who don't have this access. This is why I sell courses. This is why I provide coaching calls. This is why I got a private community. So people can be part of something and pick my brain if they don't have the right person to help them. But if you feel like you got the right person in your town, in your city, by all means, deal with that person. Pay for the sessions. Go to the gym. Listen to the lessons. Do the work. Okay? And make sure you get educated. Understand why you're doing what you're doing. OK, because you don't just want to be a guy out here throwing punches because that's not what makes it in this game. All right. And, and listen, 
this isn't me just speaking to fighters. This is speaking to everybody in general. You know, when you're lifting weights, you want to understand the right form and technique when you're lifting weights, right? You don't just want to be picking up weight, right? If I'm doing some, anything I do, I want to understand why I'm doing it. And boxing is no different. The next thing is going to be find a way to be accountable. Now, again, I'm, I'm going to continue to plug my stuff because this is what I do, right? But I got three tiers now on my website for the people who get the Master Boxing Bundle. The bronze tier, the silver tier, and the gold tier. In each tier, you get a few things. You get all 16 of my courses, right? They teach you everything from the beginning stuff to the advanced stuff. Footwork, sh fo Philly show, counter punching angles, how to box on the outside, how to box on the inside, how to fight a southpaw, southpaw, how to fight an orthodox, the whole nine, right? Go look at the catalog. You already know what I got. But then I also give you an opportunity to get on a coaching call with me, which is either one coaching call, two coaching call, or four coaching calls. OK, which is me speaking to you, helping you figure out what it is that you need to improve on, putting together a plan for you, hooking you up with a plan. So you have something to move forward with. And then I'm adding you to a private community. Right. And encouraging everybody to participate in the community so people could build relationships and hold each other accountable. At the end of the day, you got to be in the right environment. Right. And this is the online version. If you have a gym in your area, join the gym and get the camaraderie of being part of a boxing gym, right? But it's a little harder for people to do that sometimes because there's different levels and people are intimidated or whatever. This is why I created a online community. So even if you're that person in the boxing gym that doesn't really socialize with everybody, you still have somebody uh, somewhere where you can upload your video, showcase your training, meet people, have somebody like me hold you accountable. You know what I mean? So you can go ahead and make sure you're showing up every single day. But you need accountability. A lot of the times when people have trouble reaching a goal is because they don't have accountability. They feel alone. They feel like, what's the point? I have nobody else doing it. This is why having a workout partner is, is such a huge success for so many people, right? You have some people strong-minded. They don't need nothing. And salute to all of y'all. You know what I'm saying? But there's others that need some motivation. And that's where community comes into play. That's where camaraderie comes into play with the people in your gym. I used to know amateurs. I used to train amateurs that perform better in the gym when there was other amateur fighters in the gym with them. They couldn't do it by themselves. They needed a group. You see what I'm saying? So accountability is a very big part of this whole process. And at bare minimum, if you ever decide to invest into my courses, besides the abundance of information you're going to get, you're going to get accountability, which is going to help you stay on track. OK, so that's something you definitely want to keep in mind. Now, with the kind of accountability, of course, you got to stay consistent. Right. So in order to be successful at anything, you have to be consistent. And a lot of people think that the best makes it in this game. And it's not always the best guy who makes it. It's the most consistent guy, the last man standing, so to speak. How many times have we heard about the talent, the talented guy who could have been something had he stuck with it? Right. I can tell you, I man, I lost count on how many talented people I've trained and how many talented people I've seen in this game that could have went somewhere that didn't because they didn't stay consistent. OK, including me when I was competing. OK, I could have went so much further, but I wasn't consistent enough to make it to the level I wanted to. So I took that energy and put it into coaching. And here I am today. OK, consistency is key. Consistency is key. You have to be consistent. All right. I don't think I got to go into a long spew about it. I think you guys get the point. Another thing is you got to be patient. Right. So even though we're being consistent, we're not going to get the results that we're looking for overnight. And we have to be realistic. Right. So just so you guys know. For the people in the community who are in the chat right now, you guys already know, but for the people who are not in the community, I've already talked about expressing weight loss in the community um, for myself and for anybody else who wanted to be part of it. So I've been posting regularly, talking about what I'm doing in the gym, talking about my weight, et cetera, et cetera. And 
I understand that in order for me to get to my goal weight, I need to be consistent. So I don't have aspirations to get to my goal weight by next week. We're talking about maybe 20 weeks before I get to where I'm trying to go. So what do I understand? I understand I got to be consistent and I understand I got to be patient if I want to lose weight. It's the same thing for skills. If you want to get better at boxing and when it comes to skills, you have to be patient. You're going to learn some skills. It's going to take you some time to improve on certain skills, right? So patience is key. You got to have patience is key. I'm giving you the ingredients for something that you, this is like common sense. For those of you guys who came in here, some of you guys are probably saying to yourself, I knew this. But you got to hear it because sometimes when you don't, when you forget the basics, you know, what I mean? it's like the fundamentals, you know what I'm saying? It's like the fundamentals. You get away from the fundamentals and everything falls apart. These are the fundamentals to success. This can be used and applied to any area, business, relationships, boxing. OK, and the last thing that I got for you guys is set up an environment for success. Right. So when I say set up an environment, I mean, create a schedule. Get the right foods. You know what I'm saying? Get that refrigerator right. You know, plan your workouts. Find the gym. Find your trainer. Get the courses. Right. Join the community. Right. Be ready to be accountable. Create an environment of success for you to be successful. Stop saying I'll get to it next week. Stop saying, oh, on Monday I'll start. That was my favorite, especially for diets. I'll start Monday. I do good Monday through Thursday. I ruin Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And then I'm back to Monday in the same exact place that I was the previous Monday. And I'm like, why am I not seeing results? Because I'm not setting up an environment for success for the weekend. The weekend needs to be just as disciplined as the weekdays, right? So I need an environment for success. So I know if I know I have a tendency of eating some snacks and whatever, and I want to lose weight, guess what I got to do? I got to eliminate that environment. I got to get rid of that stuff and replace it with healthier stuff, better options. If I know that I have issues getting to the gym because I got kids, right? I got a daughter now. So now I'm starting to understand, you know what I mean? Thank God. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's like, thank God I'm in a position to where I can still kind of create my own schedule. But at the end of the day, if you got a job and you got a kid, right, you need to know, okay, well, what time do I got to wake up so I can get to the gym? Or what time do I go to bed or what time in between or whatever? We got to create a schedule. We got to create an environment for success, okay? If we don't create an environment for success, how are we going to be successful? If there's no gyms in your area because it's too far away, what's preventing you from taking advantage of the CA Power Hour right now and getting a course of 50% off on top of the 50% off and focusing in your house and working on this stuff? You see what I'm saying? I never say my stuff's a supplement for going to the gym, but it's an addition and something that you could work on in your own schedule. It's like having me as a personal trainer on your own schedule, right? So... This is what you have to do, guys. You got to set up an environment for success, right? If you got people around you who's negative, who's always shooting down your ideas, erase them, eliminate them. You got to put the blinders on. You ain't got to be rude. You ain't got to say, yo, man, I don't mess with you no more. Just ignore them. Get to work. They're going to see the results. And guess what they're going to say later? Yo, bro, how'd you do it? Yo, bro, what's your secret? Hey, man, what's your daily schedule like? Yo, bro, you think you can teach me? Yo, bro, man, I'm struggling now. Oh, 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 okay. So before, when I told you I was going to grab the courses and I was going to do this, I was the joke. But now that you see I'm getting nice and now that you see that everything's coming together, you want to know the secret, right? The secret is everything I just gave you guys, taking this shit serious, Okay, you got to get serious, man. I should add that in there. You got to get serious. And you know what? We're going to add that. You got to get serious, man. 
You got to get serious. You got to want this shit. I've been playing around with losing weight for years. Go back to 2018, 2019, and look at how I looked then and look how I look now. I did a shadow boxing video a couple days ago, and I got comments. Yo, you look great, but damn, coach, you didn't gain some weight. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. You ain't got to tell me. But guess what? I'm working on it. I'm on week two right now in the private community, and I'm staying accountable. Now, I'm using my own community for myself to be accountable because we got so many great people in the community encouraging each other right now that I'm just like, yo, this is a dope place. Like, it's actually coming together the way I've envisioned this when I started this a while back. Now it's really becoming something. You see people helping each other, encouraging each other, posting their videos. This is what I've been envisioning, and it takes time. I knew that the community wasn't going to be on and popping right off the bat. So I was patient with it. I didn't push anything too hard. But now we're starting to get some momentum. You best believe we're going to keep the momentum going. Okay, so the private community, how do you get enrolled to that? Go ahead and grab the Master Boxing Bundle. Start with the bronze. Start with the cheapest one. Get one call with me. Join the community. Get all the courses. Start with the cheapest one. You know, if you get the bronze bundle right now, you get 16 courses. When it all averages out, it's only $31 a course. It's ridiculous when you really think about what I'm giving you for the price. All right. That's like one course. I literally could be doing like mad sessions with somebody in real life before I run through just one course. Right. If you came to me for personal training and you wanted to learn something about angles, my create angles course, how to create angles. I literally can have like 100 sessions in real life and charge somebody 150, 200 dollars an hour and not even get through my whole course. You can get that whole damn course plus 15 other courses at $31 average when you grab them all at one time. But see, people get nervous and people don't want to do that. But, bro, it's a no-brainer. So anyway, man, that's basically my tips to success right there. Um, and I'm hoping that maybe this encourages some of you guys to get started, like, right now, right? We're not going to wait till my, okay, it's Friday night. Maybe I'll get started on uh, Monday. No, 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 no. You get started now mentally. You take your ass to bed when we get off this stream or wherever in the world you're at, and wake up tomorrow and get started. You know what I'm saying? It's actually good that I'm doing this on a Friday for the people who are serious about getting better because Fridays and Saturdays, for whatever reasons, are the most, temp the most tempting days to ruin whatever. You know what I'm saying? I don't even know why Fridays and Saturdays tempt me because every day is like the same day for me, but it's just psychological. I see Friday, I start thinking about, ooh, what can I do? Like, I'm going somewhere. Like, I'm not going nowhere. Not, but it's just psychological, right? It's a psychological thing. So we got to get past the psychological. This is more mental than physical for a lot of it. You see what I'm saying? So, and it's just like fighting, man. Fighting is very mental, all right? So I hope those tips helped you guys. And if you guys want to go ahead and open some Q&A, I'm going to be here for a little bit longer. Let me see what you guys uh, are talking about here, man. Yeah, my man Caesar going crazy in here. What's going on, guys? If you guys want to start with the... Hey, Coach Anthony, what do you think about the sauna chair? I don't know what the sauna chair is. What's the sauna chair? Enlighten me, champ. What is the sauna chair? I'm trying to go, I'm trying to get past some of these comments. My man Caesar went crazy. <laughs> oh man, Caesar, you crazy, champ. Coach, are you related to Saddam Ali? Nah, man. Saddam Ali is, is my brother, man, but not in reality. He's my brother from another mother. Um, we're not even the same ethnicity, but um, Saddam Ali has always been very supportive. If you guys go to my website, obviously, um, he shouts out my courses. He loves what I do as a trainer, and I've always loved how he fought. So big shout out to Saddam Ali, former world champion Saddam Ali, I should say. Is it wise to get familiar with Southpaw? Not train Southpaw, but maybe get around on the bag and just Southpaw just to be familiar with it. Yeah, I mean, it won't hurt you. 
it won't hurt you, man. Um, I think it's a good thing. I never did it, but looking at it now, maybe I wish I did. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I think that it's, it's, it's definitely a good thing. I wouldn't invest my whole training to it, but definitely I would definitely play with it a little bit and see if you like it. I am doing boxing. I did sparring with my trainer, but I still want to know how to increase more confidence. Uh, you increase confidence by being consistent and getting results. So continue to train. Continue to work with your trainer. When he has you sparred, do what he says, and um, you'll get confident over time. It doesn't happen overnight. It happens through results. So you just have to continue to work at it, man. It's not going to happen overnight. Coach Anthony, my fighter, David Morrell Jr., the next best thing in boxing. That's your fighter? Are you his trainer? Who am I talking to right now? Jimmy, what's good? My coach wants to get me my first fight, but I only sparred once at the gym. Not many people go there. Don't think it's a good idea for me without much sparring experience what are your thoughts yeah i agree i think that you should be sparring regularly jimmy uh against guys your level so you can gauge where you're at going into a fight without knowing where you're at in the gym is just a recipe for disaster so not saying that you won't be successful because i've seen you working in the community i've seen what you're doing but you do need to test it out uh in real time against some competitive guys inside the gym just to make sure your conditioning is good your timing is good and all those type of things. Ralph, thank you for the super chat. Hey, yo, coach, what is the best Julio Cesar Chavez boxing match to study his style? What is your personal favorite boxing match to study the sport? Uh, man, I don't got a personal for anything of those, what you just asked me, man, because Julio Cesar Chavez has so many fights. I mean, I, I could, I'd be lying if I said I watched them all. I mean, I watched him fight, you know, Purnell, and I watched him fight Frankie Randall, and I watched him fight uh, different guys, but there's so many fights, man. There's so many fights. He's a fantastic fighter. I would just get started, pick one, and just go down the rabbit hole. And as far as boxing goes, I mean, I've been a fan of all different fighters over the years. You know what I'm saying? Everybody knows one of my personal favorites is Floyd Mayweather. And the reason I like Floyd Mayweather is because when he was younger and even when he got older, he utilized all the skills that you need as a boxer from the jab, the defense, counter punching, traps, shoulder rolls, um, you know, upper body movement. Uh, so Floyd Mayweather is always going to be one of my go to guys as well. Okay, H Money, man, I see you, brother. Big shout out to you and David Burrell, man. Big shout out to you, champ. Jimmy Jones, again, what are your thoughts on the cross block? Teal did a lot of it versus Taylor, but it seems like today fighters never utilize it. Um, I mean... He, I didn't see him use it in a real situation. I just seen him kind of do it. Like, he just kind of went like this. But I didn't see punches coming and him actually using it, uh, like Archie or any of those guys from the past. So it's a lost art for sure. Um, it, it's, it's something that I'm not crazy about it myself. I like it in moments, you know, like maybe if you're in a, in a shoulder roll and then maybe you might bring it up for a hook coming around the side, hook and hit that elbow, whatever. But to be like this at all times, not necessarily my preference. Um, so, yeah, I mean, that's my thoughts on it, man. I think it could be used in moments, but not throughout a whole fight. Unless that's just something you've been working on since the beginning of your boxing. And again, like you said, not many people teach that.
How can we better improve reflexes during sparring? Everything is so dynamic. Sometimes it's hard to read punches. Uh, one of the best ways is to continue to spar. I mean, you can use a double M bag. You know, your trainer can use mitts with you. Uh, but at the end of the day, uh, you need to be sparring. That's really how you're going to improve. I mean, sorry to break the news to you, but uh, the way you do it is by continuously sparring. Continuously sparring. Not sparring once, twice, here and there, continuously, two times a week, three times a week, consistently, for years. That's how you improve it. You know what I mean? Alongside of shadow boxing, alongside of double M bags, floats, mitts, speed bag. I mean, all of these things work together and consistently for duration of, you know, sometimes years. You know what I mean? Coach, I won my boxing debut but lost two fights after by points for being too defensive. First and second round and the third, I'm a lot better than the other guy. Any advice? Uh, learn from your previous fights and try not to let it happen again, right? So let your hands go. Work on that. Work on letting your hands go. If you're not letting your hands go enough and you know the answer to the problem, work on it. So when you're sparring, punch more. You know what I'm saying? Uh in future fights, punch more. In the heavy bag, punch more. Shadow boxing, punch more. Do more of what you know you're lacking, right? You already answered your own question, right? So the answer now is to work on it, right? If I know I'm constantly getting hit with a right hand, then I know that I got to either pick this hand up, get better at shoulder rolling, circle to my right, slip it. I need to do things that are going to help me improve not getting hit with a right hand. Same thing with not punching enough. If you know you're not punching enough, then you need to focus on punching more. You already answered the question. Now it's about application, right? There's no other things that you're going to do that are going to get you ready for punching more. You know what I mean? You're not going to run six miles and punch more. You see what I mean? You're going to punch more, and then when you fight, you're going to punch more. That's how that works. Coach Anthony, great channel, man. I appreciate that, man. Will Floyd be the best fighter to study? I'm curious because I don't know exactly who to look for great fundamentals. To me, he is. To me, he's one of the best to study. Yeah, hands down. I mean, but don't just watch his recent stuff. Watch him from the beginning. Watch early Floyd. Even pull up amateur Floyd. You know what I mean? Like, if you really want to see Floyd Mayweather grow from the fighter he was to the fighter he is today, um, watch his early professional fights. Watch some of his older fights. You know what I mean? Yes, without a doubt, man. Floyd Mayweather is one of the best. Anybody who says any different, I'm in total disagreement with. Just so you know, for the record, I'm in total 1,000% disagreement. If you don't think Floyd is one of the best, if you think he's overrated, if you don't like him for whatever reason, if you think he can't fight, you and I are in total disagreement. So I just want to be very clear about that to anybody out there because I know Floyd gets a lot of hate and I'm not friends with Floyd or anything like that. Like I'm just keeping it 100. Like when I look at everybody out there, Floyd is 1,000% one, 1, somebody that every boxer should be studying and learning from. You know what I mean? Whether you like his personality, whether you don't, we got to ignore what we like about a human being and we got to go right to the emotionalist part of this. We're not worried about personalities. We're worried about what's happening in a boxing ring. And Floyd Mayweather, without a doubt, utilizes every skill that's needed to know as a professional fighter. Hey, coach, I'm planning on buying the bronze package. That one coach you coach. Can that discussion be about coaching? I'm actually looking. Absolutely, man. So when you get the coaching call with me, you can use the call for however you want, man. You know what I'm saying? As long as it's boxing related, right? But the call is also virtual. So you will be able to see me. We'll be able to interact. It's like a Zoom call. And um, we'll be able to continue to talk and put together a plan for you moving forward as a coach, whatever you want to do. So, And the courses are going to help you as a coach as well because I'm coaching. So you can see how I'm coaching and you can utilize some of that stuff as a coach. 
right? So right now the bronze package is on sale. That is about to end soon. So please don't wait on that. And for anybody else who is in here, and maybe you're just like, man, I want to get the bronze, but I don't trust you, Coach Anthony. I got to test your material. Go ahead. CA Power Hour. Use the 50% off on top of the 50% off and get any course individually on my website for 50% off on top of the 50% off and test it out like that. And if you like it, then you go ahead and get the bronze. You see what I'm saying? But for those of you guys who know me, who trust me, who already appreciate my work, you guys already know what time it is with me. There's no bullshit here with me, guys. It's 100% what you see is what you get. You know what I'm saying? You're getting quality training. You got my man, Professional Fighter Fast Eddie Chambers, all over the courses. You know what I'm saying? Demonstrating. So at the end of the day, this is a no BS zone, right? This is the truth right here. And if this is what you guys want to do, if you guys want to improve your boxing education, you came to the right place, man. I highly encourage everybody to do this if you want to get better at boxing. The same way I would want somebody to recommend me if I wanted to get better at, I don't know, some other thing like lifting weights or something, right? I want the best trainer or somebody who's going to give me real information to teach me that. You know what I mean? So it saves you years. It saves you years, man. You got to save time. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, we ain't got time to be wasting out here. So the quicker you can get the right information, the better. All right. Instead of searching the Internet, trying to figure this out on your own, and you killed two years. You're like, damn, I could have been making money by now had I just got the right information and then rebranded it for myself and did my own thing. See what I'm saying? Or I could have just eliminated searching for a thousand trainers when I could have just listened to Coach Ant and fucking learned this shit already. Like, you know what I mean? It's, it's really no brainer, guys, at this point. You have to train somebody who forgets about the right hand. I'm constantly using my jab and th barely throw my left. I'm constantly using my jab and barely throw my left. Are you a righty or a lefty? I'm confused right now. I know you say you use orthodox exploring southpaw. You get into the community by grabbing the master box and bundu champ. Yeah, man. So, yeah. All right. So, yeah, mentor. Yeah, you just got, bro, you got to work on it, man. You know what I'm saying? You can't just depend on your jab. The jab is fantastic, but you do need your other punches. You need your hooks, your crosses, your uppercuts, right? So, you use your jab and then you let your right hand go. You know, use it, you know? Bop, 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 and then bang, let it go. Or wop, wop, and then let it go. You need, you need to utilize all your tools right but you got to know how to use the tools and a lot of the times um we're making mistakes and we don't have an additional set of eyes telling us what we're doing wrong i'll give you an example i have some issues uh like back issues and stuff like that and i've been dealing with a lady who has been helping me debbie big shout out to debbie from new york city she's a exercise uh expert i should say to make it but you know she does like she teaches you the correct form, how to fix issues, et cetera, et cetera. And she's been showing me and telling me what I am doing wrong. So I would literally record myself, do an exercise, send it to her. Basically the same thing I do with my community. And she would come back and say, you need to, you know, bend your knees. You need to hinge your back. You need to do this. You need to do that. And those little tweaks have been taking my exercise back to where a place where I don't feel pain. And it's the same thing with boxing, guys. Sometimes those little things that you're doing wrong, you need an extra set of eyes to tell you, listen, man, the reason why you're not letting your right hand go is because look how you're standing, look how you're positioned, look how this, look how that. So I don't really know until I see it. And that's the reason why I started a community so people can record themselves, upload their videos, and then I can look at it, right? Like the courses are great, but it's another level when I can actually chime in and see what's going on. You know what I mean? Like right now, if I was to do this, hey man, when you throw a jab, I want you to throw your right hand, but throw the right hand like this and I do this, watch. See what I'm 
See, you can't see. You don't know how I just did it. But now if I go like this, yo, when you throw your right hand, and I go, boom, now you can follow along. Boom, you can tell me, okay, that's how I did it, right? Or the other way around. If I go, you can see that I'm dropping my hand as opposed to throwing it in a straight line. So therefore, when you're going like this, I can come in and say, yo, bro, you're dragging your right hand, blah, blah, blah. So the importance of visually seeing what's going on with the person is, you know, that right there is invaluable. And I think that's where the community comes into play, the coaching calls, the private messaging, all those things that we add to the table. And if you want to go ahead and improve in those areas, I highly suggest you join the community or find a trainer in your area that can help you. Yes, champ, you do. You're in the community. All you have to do is create the Facebook account. I told you this like a year ago, champ. Chris, my man, Chris, big shout out to Chris, big shout out to Nico. Chris, man, me and you are going to get on a call, man. I'm so sorry. I've been so busy. As you know, I'm a newborn, uh, a father of a newborn, and I got a lot going on. But me and you are definitely going to have a nice talk based off those videos you sent me. But let me go ahead and answer this question for you. Hey, Coach, Nico is working consistently. We've been focused on more punching fundamentals and managing distance, not leaping in and sparring. Any tips on managing distance? at mid-range to close range. Managing distance is uh, as simple as when his opponent steps to him, he takes a step back. When his opponent steps back, he takes a step in. But maintaining this, maintaining this, this arm distance right here, okay? When I'm in that arm distance, assuming that this punch can land, I'm in mid-range. This is mid-range. If I can hit you with the jab, I am in mid-range. When I take one step back, I am now out of range, and he's out of range, and I have to step into mid-range in order to hit him, right? If I want to get the close range, then I take it one step closer, and now I'm in, I'm in close range, right? And we're working shots on the inside. So you got three ranges, right? So if you can hit your opponent, you're in mid-range. If you can't hit your opponent, you're out of range. And if you can hit your opponent close with uppercuts and hooks to the body, et cetera, you are now inside, right? So in order for him to manage the distance, depending on what he's trying to do, if he's trying to maintain the mid-range and he's trying to maintain the outside, every time his opponent steps back to him, he needs to step back. When you're trying to close the gap, when he steps back, you got to step to him. And if you're trying to get closer, then you got to take an extra step closer. And that might incorporate some head movement to get in close or set it up with some punches to get in close. And those are different things that we talk about on how to box on the inside, okay? How to box on the outside. Those two courses are going to go over some of those stuff. You own those courses, Chris. Go back to them and check them out. And I might have some other material on YouTube that I could send you as well. But we'll also get on a coaching call, and we're going to talk about some of this stuff. Chris, I got you, brother. Thank you for the super chat. How much do you charge for one-on-one? -on -one? I watch videos every day. Thanks. Are you talking about in person? Or are you talking about coaching calls, champ? Should we pivot our lead foot when throwing the lead hook? My gym taught me we're never supposed to pivot, but I still do that. Um, I'm going to be honest with you, champ. It's a preference. I actually made a video on this in the past. I actually made a video on this in the past. It's a preference. You know, you do want to rotate your hip. You do want to rotate your knee in. The pivoting, I do it. I personally do the pivot. Um, but if you look at a lot of fights, a lot of times the pivot doesn't happen. But as long as you're rotating the hip and the knee, you will get good results. I actually made a video on it. Uh, so if you go on YouTube, you should be able to find it. Caesar, thank you for the super chat. Ralph, what is the most authentic boxing movie, coach? Oh, uh, man. Uh, Rocky, man. Rocky. Uh, as far as, like, the stressing. And actually, let me, let, let me take that back. 
I'm not sure because Hurricane was a true story. Hurricane was a true story. Uh, Creed is not bad. The most recent one was pretty good. Uh, but if you're talking about authenticity, authenticity as far as like the technique of the punches and everything, I'm not too sure. I can't remember. I know Rocky was terrible when it came to that, but Rocky was also but very realistic in like the up upbringing and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? So it, it, they all had their own little things. You know what I mean? But Hurricane was a true story. That was a crazy, really deep movie. I don't know if you guys seen that, but I honestly, man, I can't really answer this perfectly right now. So don't mind me. I'm not like the best movie guy. Hey, Coach Anthony, I'm pretty sure we matched up on Fight Night Champion earlier this week, and you absolutely schooled me. Laugh out loud. Truly humbled. Thanks for the boxing wisdom over the years. If you guys play Fight Night Champion, even though it was an older game, I got the new one, too. Don't get it twisted. I got, um, I got Undisputed. But I haven't been playing Undisputed. It hasn't resonated with me yet. I'll probably play it sometime soon. But I still play Fight Night Champion. And I get down in Fight Night Champion. If anybody want to fight me in Fight Night Champion, Coach Anthony. But the coach, the Anthony is actually a zero in the Anthony. Right? I'm nice. I'm nice, man. My record is horrible, though. When you see my record, you're going to say Coach Anthony's a bum. But when you go ahead and actually fight me, you're going to be like, yo, what's up with that bum record, coach? You're actually pretty good. So, yeah, don't sleep on my fight night skills, man. Big shout out to you, Dallas, man. Thank you for getting in here, bro. And, and, and let me know, man. Let me know, man. I'll play you again, man. I'll coach you. I'll coach you on fight night. In person, champ, I learned so much watching the videos. Okay, so to train with me in person right now is not as easy as it used to be. I'm not taking on clients that much nowadays. I do it for people that I know personally, but it's been really difficult. You're going to have to shoot me an email for that. So uh, shoot me an email uh, at CoachAnthony at CoachAnthonyBox.com. Let me go ahead and put that in here. Coach Anthony. And Coach Anthony Boxing .com. You can go ahead and shoot me an email. Say, hey, Coach, I got you from the live. Oh, and let me also give you guys something else, man, for the people who don't have uh, my number. You can also shoot me a text, guys. Guys, shoot me a text and say, Coach Anthony, got your number from the text. 215-709-5437. This is my text message for people who want to learn more boxing tips who want to be alerted when I go live, who want to be alerted when I drop a new YouTube video, who want some special deals on my courses when I'm feeling generous, take that number down, 215-709-5437, and I will reply to you. And if you want to ask me about that personal training, I can set you up through there as well, man. So go ahead and just take that number or also email me, and uh, we'll see if we can do it, man. Um, I'm in the greater Philadelphia area. I don't know if you're located out here, but I'm, I'm in the greater Philadelphia area as of right now, which means that's New Jersey, but just outside of Philly. And um, I train in Philly. I train in Jersey. I move around. I don't have my own facility like I used to, but I do have access to many facilities. So depending on where you're at and where I'm at at the moment, we could definitely find somewhere to train if I decide to work with you. No disrespect. But I'm just not working with as many people on a personal training level as I used to. But not to say that I wouldn't. You know what I mean? Real quick, top three Mexican boxers. My top three. Um, well, everybody knows my favorite of all time was Eric Morales. Now, I get a lot of hate that I don't say stuff like Salvador Sanchez and stuff like that. And it's 23 and, and hours. The reason why I don't name certain fighters that maybe deserve it um, is because I didn't watch them fight. See, I didn't. I'm not a historian. I'm not one of these historian boxing people like my man Billy Briscoe, who could tell you fighters from the 1800s. I'm not that guy. I am a guy who tells you what I seen from my time period. 
in my time period, you had Eric Morales, Marco Antonio Barrera. Um, you know what I'm saying? Uh, damn, what's my man's name who just fought Pacquiao like four times and ended up losing? I can't believe I'm, I'm, I'm oh, Juan Manuel Marquez, like Canelo Alvarez. Like, I mean, you, you know, the 90s, early 2000s, and today. That's really where my knowledge is. And I got some early 90s and some late 80s in my arsenal, too, like the Sugar Rays of the world and stuff like that. Obviously, Mike Tyson and, um, you know what I mean, Larry Holmes, certain guys from that time, you know what I mean, Roberto Duran and all them type of guys. But as far as Mexican fighters go, uh, I got Eric Morales, Canelo Alvarez, um, and uh, who would be the third one? I actually did my top five. I actually did my top five. Oh, and, and, and Julio Cesar Chavez. I like Julio Cesar Chavez. So those would be my three. And the reason why I like Eric Morales so much is because he could box and he could rumble, man. He was just a fun fighter to watch. And he was just so slick in his own way. I mean, like, people really, I think he's a little bit underappreciated uh, but he's super, super dope fighter, man. So that that's my three. Yo, what's good, Peter, man? Big shout out to you, Pete. My cousin, Pete. Big shout out to Pete. Oscar De La Hoya was great. He, he deserves to be in there somewhere as well. Absolutely. I was raised in North Philly, but I live in Maryland. Thanks, Coach. I'm going to text you my name. All right, my brother, man. Thank you, champ. Absolutely. Salvador Sanchez. Hey, man, I would, you know, I'm, I'm going to have to, like, one of these days when I got time, go through Salvador Sanchez um, catalog because, man, I've heard so much about him. And every time I say I'm going to study him, I just, I don't get around to it. But uh, I'm going to definitely check him out. But guys, man, that's it, man. I want to say thank you to everybody who pulled up, man. It was a lot of fun talking to you guys, man. You guys know what to do, man. Go to the website if you guys got value from this. Make sure you guys text me. Hit me up. Uh, grab a course. Grab a master boxing bundle. You guys already know what to do, man. I want to say thank you for the love and support. And until next time, peace.